Hey everybody, it's Adam from Encounter Wargaming, and today we are going to paint up this <clears throat> Hive City Arbitratorum. Let's check that out. So the Arbitratorum is a pretty cool kit. Um, you guys, some build it if you're staying t in tune with uh, what's going on here on the channel. Um, <clears throat> and we we want to build this we built this up super quick we're going to paint it up super quick as well to match the rest of the terrain and so if you want a simple uh easy walk through on how to paint mdf terrain we're going to use some rattle cans we're going to use some airbrush we're going to use some dry brushing we're going to use some weathering effects rust effects all sorts of cool stuff that is generically applicable across a lot of um a lot of your models and a lot of terrain and so um stay tuned where we get down and dirty with this hive city arbitratorum and here we are to start the painting video we got to get this puppy primed up and so for the arbitratorum we are going to do our classic uh the ash barker terrain painting system on this and uh and so it's really just a series of two rattle cans which would be super easy um the the uh, flat red primer for all over this guy to give it a nice dirty dark rusty brown base coat and then we're going to do some zenithal top down 45 degree angle coverage with the nutmeg satin now um these are rattle cans, so I'm gonna go ahead, do it outside and bring it back in. It's super easy. Just, just douse it with the flat red and then top down just very lightly to give it a nice dusting um, with the nutmeg. And so go ahead, do that, and we will be right back. And here we are all done. So we got the nice nutmeg brown on top, giving that nice light beige color. And, uh, and you can tell that when you look from the sides and from the bottom, you get this nice reddish brown color as well. That uh, just kind of fades in and out. And so that's the easy effect you can get kind of, uh, an almost airbrush, uh, looking effect with just some rattle cans. And so just try it out, have some fun with that. Um, work on all those different tones and uh and enjoy so there you go so that's that's that right there another great thing here is uh the two layers of rattle cam priming just work wonders the mdf terrain is so porous it just sucks up a lot of paint and so two layers of mdf or sorry two layers of rattle cam prime gets you going just right on that so now we can airbrush on top of this and have a lot of fun so let's get to it and here we are set up and ready to airbrush you can see uh yeah, it's just gonna look good. We're gonna make a custom-made beige color um, out of Vallejo Game Air Leather Brown and Game Air Bone White. And so I just, I mixed the two together until um, I got something that I was satisfied with in the airbrush. Because um, it's such a thin layer, it goes on top of this real nice. And so just take, take this guy and we'll just kind of do the front facing of this and we just want to catch corners and edges so there we go just kind of hitting between each panel here and on top of each panel and the very edge like that and you can see it's just starting to pop real nice getting a nice nice gradient going on here all right, so let's do a similar thing. Just kind of catch in the middle of all these. <clears throat> and just go right up on the peak of each window. Yeah. All right, we'll kind of catch the top of this window too, come down the edge. Catch the edge of the building right here. And then we'll get the parapet. Hmm. Minor clog. Let's see if we can't fix that. Nice, got it. So go back up here and we will get each of these uh, balancing of scales, ditties. Parapet. And the corner of this wall. Inside of the window. And bam, now you can see our building is really starting to pop. So let's compare it side by side with this guy. Right? 
still pretty flat, not a lot of definition. Just this one layer of airbrushing on top of the two layers of rattle can priming really make this guy pop, stand out, and have a lot more definition. Um, I notice didn't quite get all the way over on these windows. So let's just finish that off there. Great, so then go ahead and do the entire building. Let's make this puppy pop. And we are back. We have, uh, yeah, so that's all the other all airbrushing is looking good. And so now what we're going to do is just uh, start to block out the areas that we want to be silver um, to match the rest of the terrain that I have. And so what we're going to do is take areas like uh, this door here. And I just got black uh, airbrush primer in here. And I'm just going to cover this door very carefully. I don't mind a slight glow of black because um, it'll kind of add like a nice little shadow to the whole thing. And uh, yeah, so all my floors are black as well because this is, oops, this is meant to match my uh, uh, my Adeptus Titanicus frame. And so, hmm, yeah, let's just do the whole thing. I don't mind if uh, some gets up on the walls a little bit. It just look like dirt's coming up. Um, now, I do want to be careful. I don't want it to get like too crazy. Um, but we're okay with some dirt. It's the grim dark, right? All right. So, anyways, you get the idea. Now, what uh, we definitely want to do the windows as well. <clears throat> so. Same thing, it's okay if there's a slight uh, black shadow from the airbrush. Because it'll just highlight that uh, the shadow effect that we'll get with the metal. Um, so it's okay to be a little bit messy. I still don't want to get too crazy, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Get it done quick and dirty. So there you go, so that's pretty good. Um, we can get areas like these vents as well. Amazing, this doorway. And, uh, and then also the, um, I want to do this fencing here. So, what I may do is uh, just take a piece of green tape and let's get it running all the way around. Um, yeah. Oh, sweet. It's like the exact same height. So we can just, just run it just like this. Oh no, it's not the same height. <laughs> it's a little bit, the tape's a little bit taller. Um, that's all right. And so I can just mask off this little area to do the gate on top. Easy. All the way around. And just wrap this a little bit. Get some more strength, more hold. <clears throat> side. Ooh, I guess I better, uh, eh, better finish that side of the steps off. Okay. And then this will finish itself off. Coming all the way over. over there. Beauties. Um, now I guess, I guess we want to like block off this wall. We don't want to get 
paint all over this wall here. So may as well, hey, why not? Same thing with this wall. Just mask it off so we can just get crazy and dirty with the airbrush. Um, now, I do have a temptation to run tape uh, along the inside here too. Because if I spray through, I want it. So the floor is going to be black, but I don't necessarily need the, the dirt up at that part. So I think we'll try and keep it a little bit clean over here. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Get down there. I want it to be as flush as possible with the edge. Yeah, that's coming along, I think. And then I'll just, I'll get the floor and then I'll come back and I'll do the windows. I'll just rip off the tape and get these windows here. There, not bad. Just one tiny little area left. So now, I think I'm pretty safe to, uh, uh, to just get this whole area. What I'll probably do still is use a credit card just to block um, block the higher parts because I don't want to get them black either. Uh, yeah, so I think that would happen like so. Get, get that like that, and then get the floor. Boom. That's working out nicely. Got to come in behind as well. Yeah, it's working out all right. Not bad. Yeah, keeping it clean, getting it all black. It's working out. All right, so go ahead and do that on the whole thing. You guys don't need to watch me do every single little bit of it. Um, but yeah, doors, windows, anything metal, and uh, have a good time on that. And we're back, so all the black is done, and now what we're going to do is come in with a little Vallejo gun metal, and uh, we are going to start to block out um, the metal bits, all right? And so just get in there and shoot up the windows. And we want to leave a little bit of the black that we did showing because um, it just helps leave a nice little shadow uh, to kind of frame it, makes the windows look smoky and dirty and grim dark. Um, yeah, so it just does a lot of work there. So that's why we did the black. And you can see it's really starting to pop. We're getting these nice looks like these windows are nice and highlighted already and we're just doing kind of one layer of silver which is you know for bang for buck that's pretty good we're gonna do one more layer of silver on top mind you but uh this is a good start right and there on the door oh i missed one. Oh no Let's see if we can make up for it Cool. All right, so we can keep, you can go around and do all of the metal bits, including uh, stuff like this on top here. Uh, ooh, yeah, some grating right here. 
two little grates. Awesome. Oh yeah, this door definitely. Amazing. Okay, and then for the stuff, um, stuff like the fencing, what we'll do is we'll use, uh, we'll just use like a mask um, to block it off and to just get in there with the silver. Right? And so just, you can go around like that and do that. Um, just so it doesn't splash back on the walls or get on the floor, which we want to keep black for a little bit. <clears throat> um, and then when you do it from the outside, you don't have to worry because you're spraying um, off the model as opposed to onto the model. So you can just get in there and do it from the backside very easily. Um, so there you go. Just go around, keep having fun with this, and uh, let's get all of our metal bits all silver. So there you go, guys. Let's get that done. And we're back. So we have now got the uh, the metal done all over and so what we're gonna do is come in with Vallejo Air Silver a nice bright silver to kind of highlight and accent things and so now we are going to uh, leave even less room between the layers um, so we can just get a nice nice pop effect right there so there you go that's kind of the example of what I'm talking about um, let's see here let's do this side of the building it's just right in the middle of everything create a nice poppin' highlight all the way around. It's a really cool effect on all these windows um, to really accent uh, some of those some of those decor pieces there. Very, very cool. Let's see what's going on here. We'll just kind of do them all and then we'll pull it back so you can see. There you go. Nice, nice popping highlights all the way around. Minor clog here. Let's see if we can't work it out. There we go. Boom. All right. So there you go. So just uh, continue to finish that up. We can do this roof too. Uh, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's use the card and catch an edge. And then uh, also fill in the middle a little bit. Yeah. Go straight across the middle on the top there. And, uh, clogging a little bit more. Can't work that out. There we go. Sorted. All right, so go ahead and uh, finish that up. We also can do the uh, the fences here. Um, same thing as we did before. Just kind of use that card and uh, catch catch the tops, and, uh, and there you go. So just like that, all the way around, get some nice gradients and really work those highlights. Do that, and we'll be right back. And so we have some nice silver highlights on here. Um, but what you might find is that uh, throughout the course of doing all of this silver, we may have uh, oversprayed a little bit onto the black. And so when silver gets on a black, you can definitely notice it. But when the black gets on the silver, it just looks like a shadow of the metal. So let's just get back in there. Um, this, uh, this stairwell needed a touch up anyways. It was really patchy. Um, so just get back in there and cover up all of the silver and any, um, spots where you didn't have good coverage in the first go around because um, what we are going to do is we are going to highlight all this black next um, so like this spot in here it's just a lot going on and so I just got pretty sloppy and a lot of silver got on the black so just get in there and, uh, and clean that up easy peasy lemon squeezy Cool. So just go ahead and do that on the whole thing. And we're back. And so now that we have it all cleaned up, let's come in with some Vallejo Black Gray from Model Airline. Um, chuck it in the airbrush and then uh, just start just start highlighting up these black areas. So we got these cool little shapes. We may as well just kind of come in and focus on the center of each one. And just kind of get a nice highlight around each shape. Make them pop. Make them stand out. 
give them some definition to this thing. Very, very, very simple. Don't have to get too complicated. Again, we're trying to get this train done quick, time efficient, um, effective, while still having a great color scheme. And so there you go. You can see that really coming together there. Just hitting all the little squares, getting the centers of all these hexagon shapes. Right? So there's a lot of flooring on this one. So go ahead. You see it really just starting to pop. Um, if you want, just when it dries, if it still looks a little bit uneven and patchy, I mean, the light is really um, causing that on the camera. It's a lot more natural uh, otherwise, but you can just come in high level, like much further back and just kind of even even it out and blend everything in together. Um, and that might help you help your look there. So there you go. Go ahead, do that. And let's uh, let's really make this thing pop. And we are back. So now we can go ahead and start peeling off some of the tape so we can access all of the uh, all the beige areas. And uh, yeah, so go ahead, peel that all off. And then uh, this bottom area as well, it hasn't been getting much love for a while. It's been all covered up with tape. We need to do, because um, it also has some more metal grating on it. Ugh. Amazing. So there you go. So take all that tape off and what we're gonna do is uh, is then come in with some Yushab bone and the dry brush okay and uh, very simply we're gonna add some weathering highlights and uh, um, and texture all at the same time and so here we go so we got this dry brush get it super super dry I just got a paper towel here that I'm wiping it off on and uh, just come in and very lightly just brush it up against everything. It's going to catch edges. It's going to give texture and highlights as well. And it's okay if it gets on things that are different colors because it's just adding. It's helping tie everything together. Beauties. It's looking really good. All right. So I'll just kind of finish it off on, on one side of this building here. And you always want to streak down because that's going to give kind of a, a weathered look. Um, like uh, like water's been uh, streaking down or something like that. Alright. Just kind of finish off. Down, down, down. Down streaks. Okay, so there you go. Got some nice texture come in a little bit closer some nice highlights you can see here it's still kind of flat whereas this pops a lot more so there you go that's going to help tie the model together help cover up some of the overspray from the black airbrushing and uh give texture and weathering all, all at the same time all those fun things so there you go. go go do that on the whole model sweet now that's all done and it's starting to look really spiffy so what we're going to do now is just weather the floors a little bit and uh yeah, get ready for doing the final stage where we just throw rust on everything. <clears throat> so, I've shaken up a pot of uh, dried bark. Any dark brown will do, and we'll just start off with that. And so, take a sponge, like from your, your miniature case, um, dab it off on your palette, and then just go around and hit, any, hit all the areas where there would just be heavy, uh, lots of movement, um, lots of weather, weathering and so get all the corners edges especially these stairs that's that's a great spot for some weathering and just nice dabs refresh your sponge when you need to when they're starting to uh, not show up as prominently or as you would like them to um, so the walkway let's say people congregate around the edge of this balcony yeah there you go so some nice nice weathering and chipping all the way around so go ahead and do that on everything so we're getting on with that and the next stage to do would be to take some model air silver again just what we use for this <coughs> the metal highlight and uh, get some of that on your sponge and very very light and sparingly this is also a lot more watery than the other one but very 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 sparingly very selectively get some of your dirt chips like it's chipped all the way down to the metal 
and again focusing on edges makes it really pop you can see see that weathering is really starting to come into play there awesome so there you go have fun get all the edges and do it all the way around there you go all right so i just want to catch you guys up on something that i did as well um, since we've taken the tape off of here i went back and i did the uh, the metal bits on all these little grates and so just go ahead and same as before three-step process black covering most of it the vallejo uh, model air gun metal as your next step and then your final highlight with the silver to get make it pop and match all the rest of the metal and so then what we're going to do is we're going to come in with a little bit of Reaper Master Series Harvest Brown, put it in the airbrush. I added a little bit of high flow medium from Golden and uh, get that in your airbrush. And so now we are going to rust this puppy up. And so um, let's take an area like here. We want it to be nice and rusty around where it's attached and maybe somewhere in the middle like that. Beautiful. So like that, let's, uh, let's get some areas around the bottom of this door maybe at the top too a little bit coming around maybe a little bit in the middle why not so you can see that nice little brown effect definitely want lots of rust coming out of these air uh, with those whatever those vents are cool get some coming on this window maybe a couple spots there great definitely want lots of rust on this big fence right here and I'm actually going to use this, um, in a sense, to cover up some of the black that seeped through on the tape. So there you go, you can cover up some of these black spots. There you go. Amazing. So get that nice and rusty. And so there you go, go ahead and do that on the whole thing. Oh, this roof is just asking to be rusted out all over the place. So, yeah, go ahead do that up do some nice do some like stronger ones do some lighter ones and there you go get some nice weathering going on there so good go ahead and do the whole thing and we'll be right back all right and we're done that so let's go on to the next stage we're going to take a brighter orange brown this is called reaper master series orange brown load it up into the airbrush and we're both going to highlight and color modulate a little bit so just take that spray aim for the aim for the middle do kind of i guess kind of like a glow effect but uh, just aim to make that rust pop a little bit more Gonna bring the color up, make it less brown, a little more orange. There we go. You can see what we're going for there. Nice colors on the roof. Fabulous. Looking good. Get that right in there. Yeah, we're not aiming for perfect. This is just terrain. So just some nice color modulation. Nice go around. So there you go. Go ahead, highlight, color, modulate all the rust on the whole thing. And once you're done, we'll be right back. So we're done. We've done that over the entire model. And now it's time for the next step where we create some texture, add some dripping effects and, uh, and really finalize this rust. And so what I've done is taken this GW Rizza rust, which is a dry textury paint. Um, and I've diluted it with some of this Vallejo model wash for rust effects. This is the dark rust one and just add a little bit of water. So you see, Got this nice nice orangey paint with like chunks in it and it's it's dark it's light because it's got these two paints mixed together um, it's gonna be great for creating some uh, some of this like water damage rust look okay so let's uh, let's take this building here turn it and uh, we've already got some like dripping effects from the airbrush and we're really just gonna gonna accentuate that and so just take any of these um, any of these kind of lines in the model as a starting point and then just streak streak downwards and you see it just really finishes that rust up there oh my two-year-old's having a hard time over there that's okay it's what it's like working from home family matters there you go so some nice streakiness all over so there you go you can go ahead and do that all over the model and i'll be right back after i help her out and we are back so it's looking great let's move on what we're gonna do now is just dirty up the floors a little bit like the black area um, just take some camo medium brown I guess from Vallejo model air or any old kind of medium ish not super dark but medium tone brown color um, 
Oh, we're running out of this one. All right, get it in there. And just, uh, yeah, just give it a spray where, you know, kind of create a pathway. That's all we're doing. Yeah, just kind of dirtying it up, creating a pathway up to the middle of the door here in the commonly walked through areas, you know. Um, so like coming out of this door, like maybe walking over towards this area or something like that, walking over here, and then from this guy, maybe walking up the ladder, right? There it is. Um, this piece also has this little this little guy, and so we'll just get a little bit coming in on either side of the walkway here. Oh. There we go. So, just finish that up, do a little bit more, um, make it so it looks good, and uh, yeah, we'll be right back for the final step. And we are done. There it is. The Arbitratorum by Tabletop Scenics. Guys, this is an amazing kit. It was super fun to build, super fun to paint. Look at it all come together. A little bit of rattle canning, a little bit of airbrush, a little bit of dry brush, a little bit of weathering with rust and with some good old nun oil and, uh, and some sponging and look what it became. A nice unified <coughs> looking piece of terrain. Super, super great. This is gonna go amazing for 40K, some steampunk games, um, whatever have you there. So just give it a little rotate so you can see all of it in its full glory. We've been wrestling through, getting this guy painted at every angle, navigating weird camera angles, and so here it is in all its glory. Great little kit. Guys, I hope you have some fun. This is, oh, I can't wait to use this in 8th edition 40K. It's great line of sight blocking. It's great for infantry. It's exactly what you need. So good. All right, guys, just to give you an idea of scale, once again, here's a Imperial Knight Armager. Bam. So this guy could easily block line of sight behind this thing. And then we got some infantry like Cypher. And how about Grandmaster, what's his name, Valdis? There you are. Awesome. So guys, with some beautifully painted models, beautifully painted terrain your games of Warhammer 40k would definitely come to life but like I said before basically any miniature game would benefit from these pieces of terrain right here so there you go <clears throat> folks as well if you're thinking um, you may want to jazz these guys up create more of the table as opposed to standalone train pieces you can add in kits like the uh, Hive City iron fences and so here's just a taste um, with a couple a couple pieces from one of their kits zoom out a little bit for you you can see how that could just tie in together add a lot of character um, to your terrain pieces now those are just three pieces there's about I don't know 12 or something that come um, in those kits there the uh, the um, iron gate uh, the iron fence gate and the iron fences um, so there's so much so much more than that but that just gives you a little sample of what could be on your table when you combine these terrain kits together to complete the uh, the entire hive city look from tabletop scenics and so guys um that's it for today if you guys like that video jump down there hit subscribe hit the bell if you want notifications when future videos come out and if you really like this video uh, you can go down to our patreon link in the description below where for as little as a dollar a video you can support everything we do here at the channel painting tutorials building tutorials terrain tutorials and most importantly battle reports of all the games that you know and love and so guys i think that's it for today we will see you at our next encounter. Like a monkey in a rocket on his way back home. Okay.